Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Bavi Akanan from the GMS England branch. And um, this video is going to be a brief video and it's um, inspired by this article you see here on the screen. This is taken from skynews.com. And as you can see, is entitled US Planning to Move Nuclear Weapons to Suffolk RAF Base. All right. So it's reported that um, the US is moving nuclear weapons out here, you know, in the UK in Suffolk. All right. At the RAF Base. Now it says, amid calls to ramp up preparations for a potential war between Russia and NATO forces, the US is said to be planning to move nuclear weapons to the UK for the first time since 2008. The UK's Ministry of Defence said it would neither confirm nor deny the report. <clears throat> The U.S. is reportedly planning to move nuclear warheads to the U.K. in response to the growing threat from Russia. So, you know, it goes without saying that, um, you know, we're, we are in a time, you know, of war and rumors of war. All right. We are embodying, you know, that time right now. And um, it's also, you know, worth to note that um prophecy you know concerning world war three is not going to um fully be implemented until the manifestation of the rfid chip all right which is the mark of the beast spoken of in revelation chapter 13 and 16 all right so no substantial and um world ending you know so to speak World War Three can actually take place until that prophecy of Revelation 13 and 16 is actually active and flourishing, you know, upon the earth. All right. Because there's an order to these prophecies. All right. And before the end can come. All right. Because you're going to have World War Three, And in the midst of that, you're going to have the manifestation of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. <clears throat> Before that can happen, you know, that device, you know, that implantable chip must indeed be active, you know, before these things can actually uh, take place. All right. But nonetheless, you know, we are still in a time, you know, of war and rumors of war. And, you know, the stage is definitely being set to facilitate, you know, this prophecy playing out upon the earth. All right. So either way. You know, we're in a beautiful time and it's a beautiful time to be alive, you know. Now, um, it says senior figures on both sides of the Atlantic have called for preparations to be ramped up in case of a potential war between NATO forces and Russia. To reinforce the alliance, the Telegraph reports Pentagon documents reveal the nuclear weapons will be stationed at RAF Lake and Heath in Suffolk. They are said to be three times the strength of the Hiroshima bomb. All right. Yeah, that's the that, um, nuclear war. All right. Because it's going to be more powerful than anything that's ever been experienced, you know, upon the earth. All right. And that's why, you know, World War Three is coined as the, um, the war to end all wars. All right. And, um. You know, this is going to be um, the end. You know, this is going to cement the end of the rulership and the kingdom of Esau Edom. You know, and that's why you see, you know, all of this um, 
turmoil and division, you know, taking place upon the earth concerning, you know, these world powers and especially concerning the powers of the um, kingdom of Esau, Edom. All right. And as the scripture said, you know, as the Lord said, he was going to set Egyptian, you know, against Egyptian. All right. And the modern day Egyptians would be the Edomites. All right. And the scriptures also say, um, the scriptures also say, if Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? All right, because ultimately Esau is going to um be the um the obliterization of himself, all right, with this technology that's been bestowed upon him through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimi Shai on the left hand side. All right, as it's written, you know, we'll get it right quick in um Isaiah. Um, what's that 54 <clears throat> and verse 16 it says um behold i have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and i have created the waster to destroy all right so it's yahweh bahasham yahweh shai all right the powers that we serve that have given you know the wicked all right the elites of esau edom the inspiration and the know-how in order to develop, you know, these nuclear weapons, you know, to develop this technology that's ultimately going to destroy himself, all right? So you can't do anything outside of the control or rather outside of the bounds of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Everything goes according to his will as it is outlined in um, the book of um, Sirach, you know, chapter 18 from the top on down, all right? So again, you know, this is um this is a beautiful time to be alive. Now let's get right quick a few more scriptures before I close out. Let's get the book of um <clears throat> excuse me, Revelation chapter eleven and uh verse fourteen. All right. Now it says Revelation chapter eleven and verse fourteen. The second woe is past, and this is making reference to World War Two. All right, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, so that third woe that's coming quickly, all right, is making reference to World War Three. All right, the 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 woe, all right, that's going to end all wars, you know, upon the face of the earth. All right, the war to end all wars. That's going to be the last world war that's going to take place upon the earth, all right, before the kingdom, you know, of the Israelites, all right, comes into play, all right. <clears throat> now, right quick, let's get um, Isaiah. Let's get Isaiah <clears throat> chapter 34, and we'll read from the top on down. And as you can see in the heading, it says, um, God's wrath against nations. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 34 and verse one. And it reads, come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that came forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, all right? Now, when you go into that world, that word um, indignation, you know, that goes into um, righteous anger, all right? So the righteous anger of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter, all right? And that's ultimately... What's going to happen, all right, in in the uh, course of uh, World War Three, all right? Because none of these nations upon the earth are going to be victorious in this world war, all right? There's there's not going to be a victor, for example, like you know China, all right, or Russia, you know, or Babylon the Great, which is America. None of these nations are going to come out victorious. But what is going to happen is in the midst of you know this world war this great war our lord and savior Yahweh shai is gonna um intervene and deliver you know his elect okay and then from that moment on you know when all that destruction has been um unraveled you know upon the earth 
you know, as the scripture says, you know, the earth shall reel to and fro, you know, like a drunkard, all right? Yahweh Shai, you know, and the Israelites are going to take over the scene, all right? There's going to be a new regime, you know, upon the earth, okay? Because as it tells us in, in the book of Second Ezra, you know, all of these nations, they're going to attempt, you know, to subdue, you know, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, all right, upon his coming, which they're going to fail, you know, miserably, all right? And I've done a lesson, you know, on that, you know, some days back, all right? So it says, um, he have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, all right, which is that um, mushroom cloud, all right, when the nuclear weapons, you know, death, detonate all right and they let off that huge explosion all right which is um which looks like a mushroom cloud okay <clears throat> and it says and you know we have um you know the picture that we use at the camp you know which shows you you know that mushroom cloud all right and you can look it up yourself you know look up a nuclear you know explosion all right and you you will see that image you know in the google all right. So it says, um, you know what? As I mentioned it, let me just get it. You know, I have it right here. So why not just get it? You know, <clears throat> let's type in mushroom cloud. All right. Let's see what pops up. All right, here it is. So the heavens shall roll together, you know, as a scroll. All right, roughly paraphrasing, you know, that's that uh, mushroom cloud, you know. Beautiful. We, hey, we can't wait, you know, for this day <laughs> to manifest upon the earth, man. All right, and other people out there might be thinking, you know, these guys are crazy. You know, they're wishing for, you know, total annihilation, you know, of earth. Well, yeah you know, of the current rulership, you know, that is Esau Edom, all right, we want it to totally be annihilated, you know, and um, destroyed, you know, upon the face of the earth, because we understand that after that is going to be, you know, the kingdom of heaven, all right, that's why in um, Sirach, what's that, chapter 10 and verse 8, you know, it speaks about a transition, you know, of kingdoms, all right, and that's what we're waiting for, that's what we're hoping for, all right, so, um, again, verse four, it says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. It just showed you the, the picture of that. All right. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, all right, which is Edom, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, all right. So Esau, Edom, all right, his rulership, his kingdom is going to be destroyed during, you know, World War Three. all right, the war to end all wars, all right. So, Kaholayim la Yehawah Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kudash, and Lord willing, you know, this situation continues to worsen and escalate and to the point of, you know, World War Three. But like I said before, before that can happen, you know, the manifestation of the MOTB, all right, the Revelation 13 and 16, must indeed be active, you know, upon the face of the earth, all right? So with that, I'll say Shalom.